gentlemen and distinguished guests, I would like to welcome you all to today's webinar entitled A Peek into Changkesha College's Senior High School Life. My name is Rian Bernice Ang of Grade 10, Section B, and join me as we get to know people with different hopes and dreams who all came from the same place, the Changkesha College's Senior High School Program. You may recognize some of these familiar faces, and maybe some of you even call them Achi or Ahia. But before that, let us all welcome a truly familiar face in Chiang Kai-shek College, the beloved junior high school supervisor of English, Science, Technology and Livelihood Education Learning Areas, Mr. Alan Ray S. Villaverde. Thank you very much, Yen, for that very generous introduction of yours. Now, I am here to tap, I am here tasked to give you the opening remarks or the welcome remarks for this aforementioned event. Now, to say that Chiang Kai-shek College is a paragon of academic excellence is truly an understatement. Through the decades and years, a number of graduates have been a beacon of light and inspiration to their respective industries. Thus, such excellence should just be perpetrated, cultivated, and replicated in more years to come. Also, CKS College not just educates the head and the hands, but also the hearts of the students under its tutelage. Hence, we can say that Chiang Kai-shek College really cares particularly to its students. Please do know that we only want what is the best for one and all, even when it comes to your career decision makings and plannings. In this slide, allow me to warmly welcome one and all to this career talk featuring our top caliber homegrown students attesting the education par excellence that Chiang Kai-shek College offers. Because at the end of the day, you know what they say, what you do today is the rehearsal of your desired tomorrow. Again, a grace-filled morning to one and all, and let us be inspired from the top. very much, Mr. Villaverde, for that inspiring message. At this point, we are all set to meet our speakers for today. If you have any questions for our dear speakers, feel free to send them through the chat box at any time and make sure to indicate who it is for, as there will be a question and answer portion after all the speakers are finished. Without further ado, let's give a warm welcome to our first speaker, Christian Anabeza. Um, good morning, guys. So may I share my screen? I guess. Okay. Thank you for that. So, there. Um, can everyone see it? Uh, it, sh it, uh, it should just be a green screen for now. Okay. So, to our grade 10 students, I bid you all a pleasant morning. Now, before I begin with my presentation, I would like to extend my gratitude to Ms. Wailin Singh. Uh, Mr. Jidale Yap and Ms. Cynthia Isidro for the invitation. So to introduce myself, I'm Christian Siena Beza, currently a third year undergraduate, taking up the BSMS Electronics Engineering Honors Program of De La Salle University, Manila. I'm also the current president of its professional organization for EC undergraduates, the DLSU Electronics and Communications Engineering Society. I'm also a board of director for the Institute of Electronics Engineers of the Philippines, Manila Student Chapter, and class valedictorian of CKSC batch 2018-2019. Now, going to the presentation proper, I would like to know what everyone thinks or say expects you know, when they hear the word senior high school. So um, do you guys feel nervous, uh, excited, or even curious? Uh, feel free to chat in the, you know, the chat box or even open your mics for your insights. Yeah. Uh, anyone, anyone can respond, yeah. Here. Okay. Anthony's screen. 
Uh, yes, Hansen. What's the okay? Uh, anyone from our participants who would like to share what they feel, no? Or rather, what you expect once you go to senior high school? They're from Yanni. Uh, preparation for college. Yes, indeed. Well, senior high school is actually for me. Huh? Well, in my experience, it was in senior high school in Chiang Kai-shek where I was able to fully develop and even actualize my talents. No, As such, uh, these are then the three primary re uh, realizations that I acquired while I was taking my senior high school in the institution. So foremost, Chiang Kai-shek is known for its possession of a very competent curriculum and unique style of teaching. And uh, it, this, this is then complemented by the naturally competitive environment that we students are, um, are subjected to. And most importantly, the school also places high emphasis on character building. And all of these three, this is what I will be discussing for today. Okay, so foremost, with regards to the curriculum and pedagogy of Chiang Kai-shek College, um, back in my day, when we say that we are from CKSC, isang linya lang talaga yung lumalabas dyan. Ah, so magaling kasama. Okay. I entered the cell and there were some undergraduates and even professors who are well aware of the CK Asian mathematics. Or I believe I can generalize this to the very nature of how our students are taught actually. So if right now you're unable to realize that potential, by the time you go to college, mapapansin nyo na bakit yung mga ibang kaklase nyo parang nahihirapan and kayo nabibilisan lang sa mat nyo. And that's a guarantee, even better, if you're able to grasp and really embed what your teachers or professors are currently teaching you right now in grade 10. Okay, so to provide more evidences of the outstanding quality you know, of education that Chiang Kai provides us, I actually only applied for three universities in college, uh, mainly University of the Philippines, Diliman, DLSU, and UST. Now, the interesting thing here is I never once reviewed for any of them, but I passed all three and in my first program of choice, which is the electronics engineering program, which I am currently now taking in DLSU. And it's not just your usual uh, undergraduate degree, it's actually a ladderized honors one, which means that I'm taking my both of my bachelor's degree simultaneously with my master's. Okay, as such, this then brings us to the second point. Competitiveness is second nature to a CK Asian. We are built to withstand great amounts of pressure the curriculum is hard, yes, but it is designed in such a way that um, it challenges us to get out of our comfort zones and explore what we are truly capable of. So during my stay as a senior high school student in CKSC, I was then, it was then when I was able to really push myself to my limits. Every project making, I was creating massive 3D models. I still kept on joining various academic and sports competitions, expanding my field from the primarily academic quizbees to writing and even public speaking. I can truly say that I was an all-around student at that time. And the activities and lectures given to us were not only purely cognitive in nature, but they also required creativity. No? So just to reminisce, our group was actually awarded the best capstone project as we were able to develop from scratch a smart ID system similar to that of beat cards, but uh, if you guys are familiar with beat cards, no, but using our local school IDs instead. Okay, uh, moving on. This then brings me to the final point of this presentation, which um, is the institution's heavy emphasis on the importance of character building. We CK Asians pride ourselves on being hardworking and disciplined. And we are also systematic, decisive, and confident, which allows us to easily enter and engage ourselves in various leadership roles. Now, an example of this, of course, would be my fellow speakers today, who are also student leaders and are currently making huge impacts in society. Um, as for myself, no, my leadership in our local EC organization in DLSU is currently geared towards suggesting the initiatives on encouraging and widening the awareness on the opportunities of the ECE program by means of conducting various seminars. Um, yes, so despite the pandemic, we're still able to provide our 170 strong member base with webinars to tackle var various topics in our field of expertise, such as equate linking opportunities where we had top engineers in Globe Telecom Inc. 
provide insights on the inner workings of the telecommunications industry in genuine emerging technologies where we discuss various developments and trends in electronics and other devices and even amplify discovering beyond borders an event which is catered to both junior and senior high school students to introduce them to the world and opportunities of the electronics and engineering electronics and communications engineering discipline okay so and this uh, is what i it's what i believe what your cksc brand education can provide you with limitless opportunities uh, who knows one of you who are currently listening to my presentation could be the next nikola tesla or the next Michael Faraday, pioneering in your own fields, right? Um, so what's important is that you know how to envision and you are willing to take risk and have the persistence to fulfill that goal of yours. Now, before I wrap up my presentation, allow me to share with all of you these three phrases that define who I am. So I always believe that as CK Asians, we are and we can meet the standard, exceed the standard and become the standard. Yes, so that is all. Thank you very much. For those who have inquiries, you may reach me through the following social media channels. And you may also try to check our Facebook page, the Electronics and Communications Engineering Society of the LSU. Thank you very much. Thank you for that insightful message. I wonder as well who could be the next Nikola Tesla among my batchmates. Moving on, I'd like to introduce to you Arabella Alia Chong. Hello, CK Ashans. So, can you give me a heart react if you can hear me and see my screen? Yay! Okay, so let's start. So, I'm Arabella Chong, and I graduated from CKSC Senior High School back in 2020 in the STEM strand. 大家早上好,我是黄庭娜,我去年是中正高中毕业的, and I am now studying at the, in Atenea de Manila University, taking up AB Political Science with a Master of Arts in Public Management. So as someone who was once in your place, I was also eager to leave the educational institution that I've been in for the past 10 years. However, there were certain things that CKSC offered that made me stay. And honestly, I don't regret staying here for senior high school. I'm going to focus on five main points discussing my reason to stay but always remember that there's so much more than these five points. So let's start. So the first point and the second point is actually interconnected with each other. I'll explain them together. So it's kind of technical. So please try to uh, bear, bear it. So they are the advanced classes and the part of the semester. This really helped me survive during my last year in Chiang Kai-shek College. And with the current schedule that I'm experiencing, I can't help it, but I really miss this kind of setup. So the advanced classes are subjects taken before the actual start of the classes. And this only applies to core subjects as seen below. This really was helpful for me because it lessened my school works and worries um, during the actual class. In addition, since advanced classes are only for core subjects, there's a high probability that you will be classmates with your friends from other strands. So I must say that it really made my first online class experience more tolerable. So once you accomplish the advanced classes, you get less your subject for the actual class. But instead of taking all remaining subjects in one set, the faculty decided to divide it into two terms in one set. So I'm um, sharing with you all my schedule for the second term of first set. How many subjects do you see here? Please comment down below. Um, how many subjects do you see here? Can y'all count it? Or can someone raise their hands? So, okay, so no one wants to participate, but so my subjects here, uh, I think my share screen got stopped. Okay, so here, I have apologies for that. So, um, can you guys see it now? Here, so there. Um, so my, uh, my classes here are six in total, but because I took the advanced classes, for Chinese and media arts and for my uh, information literacy, I was only left with four subjects and a lot of vacant time for me to do the assignments. But then again, what may work for me may not work for you. So always consider what is best for your mental and physical health. The next point I would like to highlight is the learning intimacy between teachers and students. 
It was not until college that I value the level of intimacy that I experience here. An example of this is because Chiangkai has a lesser quantity of students than colleges. It makes the Chiangkai teachers recognize and learn about their students better. I think that this is very important during the online classes since we lack close contact. That's why it's important to form bonds online. I'm not talking about chatting with teachers every day or hanging with them, but rather they address you by your name and not by address or uh, describing what you look like. Teachers in Chiang Kai-shek are also more compassionate and caring for their students compared to teachers from big universities. The teachers from universities don't really care or call you out when you miss assignments. So you just get surprised if you receive a C. My fourth to the last point is the bond in the Chinese Filipino community. In my first few weeks in Ateneo, considering my chosen course, I was a little bit culture shocked since I was the only one who has a Chinese surname and who came from a Chinese school. It made me really miss my friends and honestly just miss the community. I really felt more at home in Shanghai than I am now in Ateneo. In addition, if other Catholic schools offered Spanish classes in the junior and senior high school, being able to learn the Filipino Chinese cultures and languages also gives you the edge over others. An example for this is I have to take a special language in Ateneo and guess what I taught? It's Chinese and it's really an advantage because it made my accents a little less stress. So lastly, even though I was a little bit culture shocked in my new school, the perks of being exposed and immersed to different backgrounds in Chiang Kai-shek prepared me to widen my understanding of people's way of living and choices in life. Down to my last point, the more than a decade of Chiang Kai-shek college training me to be better and to always strive for the best led me to my current university. I would have never been accepted into a prestigious university without the proper nurture and teachings I have learned from Chiang Kai-shek which I applied during the application process. I never regretted staying in Chiang Kai-shek College. In fact, taking senior high school here shaped me to be the person that I am today. So thank you for listening. I hope you picked up a lot from this talk. Just message me on Facebook or mail me, and I'll definitely give you more points to convince you to stay in Chiang Kai-shek for senior high school if you're still hesitating or doubting. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your heart-touching message, helpful tips, and advice. I didn't know there was also a Chinese class in Ateneo. Join me in welcoming our next speaker, Jefferson Chua. Okay, so hi guys. You can hear me naman, no? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So good morning, everyone. Before anything else, I just want to say um, thank you to Sir Jude and Stancy Wiley and Mami Cedro for inviting me to speak here with our grade 10 Shotis and Shobes today. And also want to say good morning to Sir Peds and Sir V. Okay. Right. So just to introduce myself, because I don't think you guys know me na, and because we have, I think, seven years gap. So parang grade 6 pa lang ata kayo when I graduated from CKFC. You know? So I graduated last. 2017. So um, I'm Jefferson Chua, so currently fifth year student in University of the Philippines Diliman, taking up BS Business Ad and Accountancy. And um, I graduated from Chiang Kai-shek College last 2017 and first batch of senior high school in Chiang Kai-shek College. And I also took a online summer exchange program with ESCA. It's a school of business in France. And here's a picture of me, senior high school graduation. So I just want to share it because batch namin yung nagpausa ng toga sa Chiang Kai-shek College, I think. Yeah. So some student organizations that I joined, UPJP yeah, or UP Junior Philippine Institute of Accountants. So I served as the president of this organization last year, last school year. Also part of the UP Circle of Entrepreneurs and UP Tennis Club or Tennis Society. So some internship and work experiences. So I teach in our language center. Um, I tried teaching remedial classes for Chinese math and also did one Um, Chinese subject last year for our senior high school and I joined Course Hero for the first, uh, as my first uh, job and my first official internship as a um, into the corporate world that is something related that has something to relate with my course is with PNG Procter and Gamble so if you don't know PNG it's a company that produces young head and shoulders tied uh, and what you know and you know safeguard yeah so After that, I joined MyKuya. So it's a startup company. Um, it offers services like Grab or Lalamove. 
And my last internship experience is with Coca-Cola. You know that, Coke. So moving on. Okay, so as you all know, we're going to talk about our CKS senior high school life here. And I just divided my part, uh, my, uh, my talk into two parts now. So first, why CKS senior high school? And I want to give some tips for your college preparation. So starting with why with why Changkashek uh, senior high school. So I think mainly it's because of our quality education that Chiang Kai-shek offers to you. No? So if you're going to check the senior high school curriculum across all school, it's actually the same. Lang. So what Chiang Kai offers is also the standard um, senior high school curriculum set by the, the Department of Education. No? So you don't, have re you don't really have to think that you might learn less if you didn't go to another school. And we have the standard core subjects, and what really varies are just the few applied sub subjects lang, which really depends if what strand are you taking or, or you would like to take next time. And next, as Ara mentioned earlier, you have this Chinese subject again here in Chiang Kai-shek College. No? Although you guys might be already bored with Chinese subjects, um, but I really hope that you can take your last two years of Chinese subjects seriously. Because as you enter college, you have no more chances to learn Chinese. Or yes, you might have because like your uh, electives or maybe special language that you can learn just, just like Ara, they had Chinese classes in Ateneo. No? Uh, but eventually, you will learn the advantage of knowing Mandarin when you start looking for jobs. As mentioned, I teach in our language center. And then most of our students, like most of my students here are older than me. So there must be a reason why. These people, even though graduated already, they come back to learn Mandarin. So not only for business purposes, um, there are so many Mandarin-speaking job offerings today. And if you don't know, the salary of people who knows a different language is sometimes double or even triple the minimum wage. So you really have to study, like take your Chinese classes seriously. But of course, um, uh, you, have, <laughs> you have to study well with your English and Filipino subjects also. And next is really the people that you meet here in Chiang Kai-shek College. So this includes your classmates, teachers, and even alumni where you establish or expand your connections. No? So we have responsible teachers here in Chiang Kai-shek College. I don't know in other schools, but what I only know is that our teachers here always do their best to ensure that you learn and understand all the lessons before moving on to the next level. No? So you might find it hassle sometimes if the teacher gives you so much assignment or what, but a teacher who does not teach is even more hassle. Well, in college, you might encounter, it's possible for you to encounter teachers who come to class expecting you to know the lessons already. So you really have to read the book on your own in college. But um, here in Chiang Kai-shek College, our teacher take it as if you're learning from scratch. No? So for me, our teachers really do their part very well. So it's up to you na, if you want to do your part as a student or not, yeah. And next is really your classmates or friends in Chiang Kai-shek College. So they say that your college friends will be your closest friends in life. But for me, my high school classmates and friends are the best. So al although I'm the only one who entered UP Diliman in my classroom, so most of them went to uh, Ateneo and some went to La Salle, but we still communicate and hang out as a group today. Uh, of course, before pandemic, no? And you might probably meet some of them because I have two pictures here. Uh, so the first picture is um, a picture of us when we went to China together after a few months and waiting from Chiang Kai-shek College. And then the second picture here is our picture. I think it's two years ago. Yeah. So we still go out, like go out together, hang out together until today. Um, but yeah, you know, pandemic. So we don't really go out right now. Mm -mm. So, yep. So that's it. The education is uh, it's the same lang across the all schools. And you meet cool people here in Chiang Kai-shek College. And especially right now, no, because you're grade 10. Na. So what, by next year, uh, you're grade 11. And this is the age that you're supposed to enter college if, if there's no K-12. So you're quite mature na right now. So um, you learn and you know how to better build and better maintain good friendships with your high school friends na, and even your competitors. No? Kasi, syempre, before, uh, competitive din tayo running for honors. So sometimes you might treat like your classmates. Kalaban mo yan, di ba? Pero 
by the time you enter senior high school, you know na, like, it's not really about that super harsh competition. It's about friendship. Like, you learn with each other. You learn with uh, from one another. Mm-hmm. So, moving on quickly lang for some tips for your college preparation. First is really to study well and to get good grades, no? So, with our current setup, no college admission test. And I think universities will only base the qualification on your grade 9 to 11 grades, reference letter from your teacher, personal essay, and other achievements. So, you really have to study hard right now, especially if you didn't get good grades last year during your grade 9. And because need mo, need mo na talaga bumawe eh, because you're grade 10 right now and grade 11, what you're going to submit to the college is only until grade 11. Okay? So moreover, if you stay here in Chiang Kai-shek College, you're already quite familiar now with how the system works. You know how the assignments, uh, quizzes, group works, and exams were done. So it should be easier for you to get good grades if you exert effort and study well. As compared to entering a new school, you have to adjust pa kasi, and that adjustment period might and possibly affect your grades. And sing it ko lang, there's no such thing as express pass, uh, I think. Um, it's, not, it's not like if you join LaSalle for senior high school, you're automatically accepted to their university. I don't think there's such thing like that. Okay. So n- Next, second, is really to practice speaking, reading, and writing essays. So in college, you're given a very limited, limited time to finish your requirements in class. You have to be able to write an essay very quickly because wala na yung extension eh, just because you cannot finish your essay assignment. And you really need to learn how to read. So you will have so many readings in college, not to mention yung English classes na required for every fresh uh, freshman. And major, there's so many readings. So speaking is also very important as you will always need to do reporting in college. So um, if you enter senior high school, there's, all, there's also English classes and you have the oral, oral communication classes. So don't take these classes for granted. No? Take it as a chance to improve yourself. And third is to join extracurricular activities and competitions because when you apply to college, as mentioned earlier, they will consider your leadership activities, extracurricular activities, awards, and recognition received. So aside from this, you get to learn how to work with other people when you involve yourself in different activities. No? And this is very important since you will have a lot of group work in college, especially when you want to take business courses like my course, um, almost all requirements are done in group. No? So you have to know how to work well with people. Uh, sometimes you will meet uh, group mates na who will not do anything and then ikaw na talaga yung magbubuhat. So you really have to learn how to manage those circumstances. Uh, but of course, you have to be able to balance your extracurricular activities with your academics. No? So you join activities without compromising your grades. No? And last, but the most important one, is to know your career path. So this is very important. Although you're grade 10 pa lang, you might be, uh, you, you're, you might be not sure pa, no? But you take time to read about some, like, to think what, uh, um, what career you want in the future. So, kasi you have to choose na then in senior high school what strand you will be taking. And after that, after a year, grade 11, you, you have to choose now what course you want to take in college. No? So I'm, I was a STEM student in Chiang Kai-shek College before, but I took business course. So definitely, I had a hard time during my first year in college because my classmates, they have, uh, they have knowledge already on accounting and other business subjects when they entered college, but I don't have any. They, uh, I really have to work triple hard to, uh, uh, triple hard to catch up with with my classmates, no? And with, to catch up with the lessons. That's why I think uh, it's really important for you to think about what professions you want, na. May it be an accountant, doctor, teacher, engineer, or artist, because the specialized subjects in senior high school will definitely prepare you for college. And also, if ever pandemic is over next year, hopefully, and the college admission test comes back, na. No, if ever you will need to take the OCAT uh, and the DCAT asset, um, I, aside from reviewing for yourself, I think it's quite uh, helpful to go to a review school. No, but I'm not advertising any review school. But I just think that it might be helpful. No, um, but some review school might be expensive. Uh, so there's always a way for you, naman, to look for materials. May it be online or 
yung Google naman, you can always search for uh, reviewers for uh, for college entrance examination. And that's all. Pero you can do it naman. See, we have graduates like Christian because Christian, I think, batchmate na yung brother ko, valedictorian siya. And he passed all school, di ba? Magic. Cool. Smart. <laughs> yeah, you can always, um, you can do that naman. You can still catch up. So don't lose confidence. You just trust yourself. Trust the process. Okay? Right? So if you have any question, you can ask later. And let's move on to the next speaker. Right, thank you. Thank you for the splendid sharing of your experience. It's very useful to me and my batchmates. I should really work on my Chinese. And to everyone who also found this helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Great. Um, I am excited to present our next guest, Andrea Jasmine Fernasho. So hi, good morning everyone. So sadly, I did not prepare a presentation. However, my original goal was to talk with you in a more laid back manner and it's more conversational. So in, let me introduce myself. My name is Andrea Parnasho and I am a graduate of Chiang Kai-shek Senior High School 2018 batch. So I'm also basically the second pro produce of the um, grade K-12 to of ABM Strand. So currently, I am a senior taking accountancy in the University of Santo Tomas. So I am the extracurriculars. I am the chief external auditor for JPA USD, and now in my college student council, I am the finance and sponsorship committee. So I'm also here to share a snippet of my senior high school in CKSC and why I think you should stay in this school now more than ever. So when I entered college, just like um, the previous speaker's experiences, I gradually realized that one key difference is the teachers. Just imagine in big universities, for example, in general education professors, typically they handle classes across different colleges. And then they handle per program, five to six classes per college. So just imagine the magnitude of students they normally teach on a regular basis. With that kind of setup, it somehow desensitizes the teacher-student relationship of concern, compassion, your understanding, shepre, friendship naren. That was already the case during face-to-face -face classes, and even more so right now in this online setup. Kung feel nyo ngayon, walang pakaalam yung prof teachers nyo. And hopefully, hindi naman, kasi ako, hindi ko naman yung na-experience nung chankay ako. Even, just imagine, pag nag-join kay ng big university right now, parang maglalaho na lang sila bigla. O, oh, ganun. <laughs> I'm spilling some tea. So, yun, educational realities aside, there are definitely pros when you're with classmates who's been with you since elementary school and even some of you kindergarten, you go way, way back. For me personally, I'm happy that I got to spend an extra two years together with my three best friends since elementary school who are also studying in USD, taking up mechanical engineering and accountancy. At that time, sabi ko sa kanila, sa wakas, hindi ko na makikita yung mga face nila. At sila din naman, sawa na sa face ko. Pero after college, that's when I truly realized and treasured our memories together because we already had different schedules. Um, they were working um, hours ng hapon and I was in the morning, 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. Their schedule was 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. So, we really didn't have a time to meet unless after school, during chats, ganon. And after that, and also we also had different school activities. They joined different um, organizations. There's college organizations. And I also joined my home organizations, JPIA. So we really didn't have, we lessened our things in common. But so during that time, I really appreciated the memories that we made together in senior high school. Also, during my time in Chiang Kai-shek, 
they nurtured me with a solid foundation for the entrance examination. So likewise, um, I wasn't able to review that much sa entrance exam. Kasi noong time na yun, of course, syempre, busy tayo sa ACADS. There, I can only imagine ngayon yung outputs nyo siguro puro videos, presentations. And syempre, that puts a toll on our time, our time management and the assignments. Syempre, at the same time, balancing yung, yung house chores, yung family, I totally understand. So parang during that time, wala na din ako masyadong time to review. But nevertheless, I was able to pass all my um, entrance exams. Also, I, um, I took up four entrance exams. So yung big four, UST, La Salle, UP, Los Baños, and then Ateneo. From those three, I took accountancy and then sa Ateneo since they didn't have accountancy I took management engineering and I passed them all so no worries talaga you just need to assess yourselves kung feel nyo you need to review a lot or just refresh the concepts you decide and take action when that time comes and also take this time sa grade 11 and 12 nyo in Chiang Kai-shek to review kasi basically yung yung lessons nyo during this 11 and 12 will be very useful in your entrance examinations also. And my special message to the minority, hindi to kasama sa speech content, pero special message ko to, to the minority wishing to change schools para lang maiwan ng Chinese, I swear 100% or 150% pa yan, I completely understand because I was just like you. I was never an achiever in Chinese. Sadyang na-memorize ko lang yung one t yung shang tzu. And during my batch, we were also arranged according to grades. And surprisingly, sa lagay kong to, napunta ako sa section 1. Amongst the authentic Chinese speakers, nandun ako nakaupo sa, ano, yung upuan natin. And then, mukha kong ligaw. And feel ko si Lao Shir, feel rin niya. Naligaw din ako dun sa classroom. Pero, but I stuck to it. And now that I'm graduating and thinking about my future life after college and my prospective work, I realized that I am much more competitive with my knowledge in Chinese. So imagine, my edge ka na if you eventually graduate in a big four university in college. What more if companies see your resume and see that you studied and can speak Chinese? So we eventually have to face the reality, yung pa, adulting 101. There comes a time na either tayo, we will need to branch out. Either meron tayong family business na we can work for or we will work as an employee for big companies, or FM, FMCGs or multi-conglomerates. And what they want to look at is how competent you are and how special you are among the rest. And Chinese will make that deciding point for you. So amongst my ramblings, I hope you picked up at least a little bit Thank you so much for listening. And syempre, share ko din. If you want to reach me out, search yo lang, Andrea Jasmine. Thank you. What a fun and exciting experience. This is really making me look forward to going to senior high school as well, especially face-to-face -face classes. Following that, let us welcome John Angel Flores. Good morning, everyone. I am John Angel Flores. I have also not prepared a presentation. Uh, my Chinese name is U Pin Pin, and uh, I graduated from Chiang Kai-shek College Senior High School Program in 2018 uh, alongside Andrea Fernasho. And a message that I want you to think of is, would you rather cause a ripple in a pond or an ocean? I stayed in Chiang Kai-shek College even until college because I want to be a cause of change. Look at what my time, alongside with Andrea again, uh, did with the ABM students of our school, being able to sell their own products in our, own, in our school after taking inspiration on our college program. And later with John Keith Chua, they were able to sell in Lucky Chinatown Mall, 
Uh, moving school has its advantages, don't get me wrong. A possible fresh start is one of them. But again, would you rather be a ripple in the, po- in the ocean or in a pond? As you, can, as you saw on my picture then, sa banner, I have gained many experiences at my time in Chiang Kai-shek College, especially with hosting, uh, with uh, seminar making, organizing seminars rather. Uh, and that is my edge um, compared to maybe other students. I am not uh, ano, uh, a top student of Chiang Kai-shek College. Um, nagmumukha lang kasi ako president always, no? I've been the president also nung senior high school namin and again here in college. Kaya mukha lang ako matalino pero hindi talaga. Uh, so yeah, experiences. And that is a huge factor with regards to your future endeavors. Especially in job hunting. Uh, pero sa inyo siguro, no, is college hunts then ang first in mind nyo rather than job hunts. So that's it for me. Thank you for that, for your um, short but meaningful uh, message. Last but not least, let us welcome Eister Jaden Kwasi. Hello, I'm Eister Jaden C. i Liu Sihong. I've graduated class of 2020 to 2021 and I'm currently taking up my undergraduate studies at the University of British Columbia. I would like to keep this short and just share my thoughts and experiences with CKSC. Being able to graduate with your childhood classmates and friends is very memorable, magical, and nostalgic. During this pandemic, it made me realize that we students are very resilient. Your teachers are there to guide you, nurture you, and provide you with very useful life lessons. Your friends from when you were younger are still there to help and support you. As a person, you will grow more self-efficient and street smart. Learning and getting along with other people require communication skills, which are taught in the CKSC Senior High School program. As the saying goes, teamwork makes the dream work. This just proves the strength of the bond you and your friends have to show that nothing is impossible. Learning how to get along with people that have different personalities and family backgrounds teaches us to be kinder and more understanding individuals. Education is education. All schools provide the same knowledge, but to be a better person is our advantage here at Chiang Kai-shek College. Our school community is a diverse group of people with different cultures. CKSC has molded me into the best version of myself. There are many opportunities to further expand your capabilities. With this kind of environment, you will be able to speak what's on your mind and voice out your opinions. Also, studying here has helped me become more flexible and adaptable in every situation. I've learned to enhance my decision-making skills, which helped me develop my critical thinking. And in turn, it makes me a better contributor to society. Also, another advantage would be Mandarin because it's an extra language learned which is very beneficial in the future. One last thing I would say is enjoy high school because you only get to experience it once. And don't let your dreams just be dreams. Make it a reality. Thank you and good luck with your future endeavors. Thank you for that insightful message. And now, let us all express our gratitude to our speakers through a virtual round of applause for this inspiring and invaluable insights that they imparted to us through this event. I am certain that you guys are excited to ask questions, so at this juncture, we will be reading your queries. You may still send a few more questions if you have any. Also, don't forget to say who your questions are for. What's your usual schedule in senior high school? Okay, so for the speakers, if I may, may I answer one? Okay. So if I recall correctly, no. Uh, during my senior high, there was a time when, um, there was a time when no STEM ako na, grade eleven. We usually had our classes, uh, eight a.m. to two p.m. Tama ba? Or was it in grade twelve? So for grade eleven, uh, major intensive pa yung ano nyo? Major intensive pa yung schedule nyo, I believe. That would be eight to four maganon. Pero pagdating nyo ng grade twelve, ang matitira na lang would be your, um. I don't, 
I think they are to be considered GEs, no? Yung mga uh, art appreciation, Philippine art appreciation, uh, purposive communication subjects. And I think ang schedule was, ano lang, yeah, 8 to 2 p.m. Then we end uh, there. Uh, next book. Uh, can I answer it in an online setting? So as what I've mentioned a while ago, uh, the Changkai faculty in senior high school was kind enough to consider our feelings since, or our feelings or our workloads since they divided it into two parts. They divided it into um, advanced class and the semestral setup. So for the advanced class, so I think I got two subjects for the advanced class. So I took them around MWF and TTH. So it's one class per day. So look how the the schedule is. And for the actual start of the class, since I already took the advanced classes and the actual advanced class was divided into two, uh, two terms in one sempa. So mas maluwag siya, like more time for us to do our assignments and more time for us to like chill or relax. Not like college, like really, it's really a difficult, uh, different setup now. So you, if there's like, um, if there's a chance, you really have to make use of the senior high school given here in Chiang Kai-shek College. Like, it's really um, a giveaway and really very helpful for us, especially during the pandemic. Oh, usually, yung advanced classes, uh, how many months advance siya compared to the regular ones? Uh, I'm not sure about this, but I think it's around um, two months. So, uh, Chiang Kai releases like a, a pop mat naman on their uh, official Facebook page and they release up around um, application for advanced classes now. So if you apply for that, uh, those classes, you get them in advance and you don't take them in the actual class now. So ayun na, more time for us. Oh, okay. I see. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone who wants to answer? Because we have other questions as well. Or should I ask that already? I think you can move on to the next question because okay. Arya answered na and she's the youngest batch. Baka our setup before is different na at, from right now. Okay. Uh, for Ahia Jefferson, anong tips daw para makapasok sa UP? Uh, <laughs> because cause during my time, diba, I have OPCAT. So I don't know if paano yung ngayon. Because right now, they definitely, they only check your grade and as mentioned earlier, reference letter and then your essay. So I don't, I'm not quite sure no, how they will assess you right now. But before, when, or if you have OPCAT again, for me, kasi, I, I, I entered review school unlike Christian. No? <laughs> Pero I think it's quite helpful because eh, eh, you have mock exams, like you have uh, like mock, mock test in review school and you get to uh, have a gist na kung how the OPCAT works and how the uh, other ex- uh, entrance examination works. Eh. Pero after my batch, because I'm the first senior high school batch, eh, so my um, exam coverage is quite the same as before. But right now, at, uh, there's added subjects because my brother, meron sila yung mga disaster risk management na kasama dun sa entrance exam. So uh, I think sila Christian baka mas alam niyo yung coverage ng exam. So you can ask Christian or Christian can clarify further. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, thank you. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> wait. Uh, wait. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that, Kuya Jeff. So, yeah. Uh, if I remember my UPCAT correctly, it was divided into... Was it three subjects? It was pure math, science, and then Filipino. So, tips. There's since hindi kayo mag-UPCAT ngayon, uh, what I can only really... No? What I can really suggest right now is just to push your grades to what... Uh, kung hanggang saan nyo hahayanin. Kasi yun yung pinaka magiging basehan nyo yun. Uh, yun yung pinaka magiging basehan ng uh, institutions nyo yun. And also, if you guys have the time, try to involve yourself in social activities then Yun din yung tinitignan ng mga universities nyo yun. How large of an impact you're able to create. Um, lalo na sa Lasal, they place high emphasis on your initiatives. Anibawa, meron kayong a uh, non-profit organization that caters to Lumad schools. For example, here I am Anawari from my friend uh, from St. Jude. Ganon. There. 
Uh, can I also add to Ahia Christian and Ahia Jeff? So, in the online um online admission, it's really important to maintain your grades. So, I'm not talking about like the grades now, and I mean the grades for senior high school, but you have to have a foundation from your junior high school or even up to your grade um um grade uh grade school. So, um, they really like uh check your grades from before and now. So, if you maintained a high grade like 90 and above that's very very helpful however if you um have like grades around 85 to 90 during the online setup it's kind of hard to be admitted in UB now so it's really important to maintain your grades in higher um range or higher level uh is grades only the one the thing that they're gonna check um, based on my uh, OPCAT results, yes, it's about real grades. However, there's really a component like the organizations that you join in, they really add to that and especially your um, academic um, academic achievements too, they are really very important. So you have to balance everything, your org life your acad- and your academic style. Uh, for Ahia John Angel, what are your tips during public speaking or hosting? My tips on that is um, maybe you can practice no? practice more. Uh, look at the mirror when practicing. That would be a great help. Another is pag kinakabahan kayo on uh, pag maraming tao, just look straight forward. Look at you know the wall or the clock. Uh, that's usually what I do when I speak during my talks and uh, when I host in Chiang Kai-shek. And in other events, then. For further questions on that, no. If I haven't answered the question quite well, you can always ask me, or rather, you can also call me then on my cell. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, another question for anyone who wants to answer. Uh, ano pwedeng gawin if hindi mo pa alam yung future career mo? Oh, sabihin ko. <laughs> sabihin ko sa'yo, if you don't know your future career, hindi mo pa alam kung anong gusto mo. Kasi I was in your case, so hindi ko rin sure kung saan ako pupwesto. <laughs> so, I advise you na um, check your um, future plan for yourself. Kung saan mo nakikita yung sarili mo in the future. Kung anong lifestyle, anong um living standards na nire-require para ma-achieve mo yon kung gusto mo ng magandang kotse magandang house or na whatever man yan look at that and then check yung trends ngayon yung highest paid jobs yung most soft, uh, most demand yung most in demand courses na empl- na parang graduates ano yung hinahanap sa kanila and then decide from there kung kaya mo ba or are you willing to put up the work in that field of area of work yun oh, okay uh, thank you at uh, this meron nagtanong totoo bang pag college na hindi na sila nakakatulog uh i am first year pa lang in college na tinayo but I don't know. I think I think it's based on my course because it's political science, so it's really essay based. Like it's so heavy, which is uh, I think an a disadvantage for me because I took STEM, so I'm more of the science um courses. So when I reached here, all of my classmates are from gas or Hume, so ano siya, medyo mahirap. So you really have to like what Ati Andrea said. You have to think like properly. And what Ahia Jeff said to you, na nahirapan siya sa accounting kasi he took another path before. So, you really have to think about it. And hindi talaga ako nakakatulog. I mean, I sleep around 4 a.m. Although, I'm I'm in first year pa. First year is supposed to be chill. But there's really a lot of, a lot, a lot of requirements. So, talaga, make use of Changai time. Kasi Changai is not only free. Natututo ka na nga, it gives you the freedom to like, alam mo ba, nakakatulog pa ako, nakaka-watch pa ako ng maraming k-drama. <laughs> During my Changai 
um times in senior high school. However, when I reach college, wala na. Wala na. It's really hard for me to continue or finish one um K drama in one sitting. So ayon. So if ever now, medyo stressful na yung school works pagdating ng college. It's uh, how, how many times more do you think it's gonna be stressful? If I may lang no, if I may add add up to the conversation, uh, when I was uh, uh, an accounting accountant, I I was in accountancy. Sorry, uh, I didn't really uh, have stress with regards no first year ako. Uh, stressful siya in a way, but not to the not to the point na hindi na ako nakakatulog unlike my my classmates no. And I think that's what Chiang Kai-shek made me do. Made me, uh, uh, they prepared me for stress, stressful times like that. No, I think that uh, they prepared me well enough. Mm-mm. Kasi nung nag-accountancy ako, uh, I didn't really study as well as my my classmates. No, they studied until 4 a.m. Tulad niya ni Ara. Uh, but to no avail, uh, six over 21 lang pumasa that time. And I was that sixth. Even, even, even though I didn't study as much as them, no? Uh, I think um, listening to classes is more important then. So you guys should also think of listening well. Not only listening, uh, but listening well and understanding the lessons. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. I'll, I'll just add lang pala. So, kasi, if you're talking about yung, ano ba, kung di na ba nakakatulog sa college, well, for me, it really depends how you manage your stuff kasi. Because, I myself, kasi, during my time, yung curriculum namin, when we enter college, there's still a lot of general subjects eh. So, my f- whole first year is all general subjects lang, only one accounting subjects. So, it's really, kung, if you want to use your time in school, because in college, your schedule is, it depends. It depends now, because sometimes your schedule might be one class in the morning, then you have free time until afternoon. So it's up to you if you want to use those times studying or doing other stuff in the library na lang, rather than like sleeping or going out somewhere else. Yeah, you just have to really manage your time. And then with regards to first year, ba mahirap. Um, yeah, definitely, first year will be a, a adjustment period for every uh, college freshman, no? So, ako rin, medyo nahirapan ako first year because I really have to adjust then. Pero, um, as you get used to it na naman, you'll find it easier naman. Because other, like, my batchmates, some of them think na it's easier in college because your schedule is quite flexible naman, eh. And, and you can manage naman your own time. So, as early as now, you, you learn na how to manage your time. You know, you have to know your prior, priority. If mag-aaral ka ba ngayon, kung mag, maglalaro ka ba ngayon, kung mag drama ka ba ngayon, you have to know those. You have to manage kung what schedule you want. So, you kanya-kanyang discard na yun eh. Yung ibang tao, like some people, they, they have a checklist or do just finish this stuff on time. Some people, they have a specific schedule what they will do every day. So, yeah. And, and, at the end of few years, I think mga graduating years, quite chill na because eh, I'm graduating. So, wala na yung pressure. Parang alam mo na, you know, you know what standing you are. You don't have to force yourself to achieve a certain grade. And for courses na may, na may ceiling grade, yung, for like my course, if, if during first, second or third year, if you didn't reach a certain grade, you'll be kicked out of the course. So, wala na yun because eh, we're done we're over with that. So, like, we're sure na we're going to stay in this accounting course. So, quite, like, there's no more pressure. Eh? And if you have no more pressure, um, I think you excel better and then you have more time, time to do other stuff, like orgs, internship. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I have a question. You raised your hand down kanina. Were you gonna say something? Ah, yes. So, um, well, just to, ano, no? Any joke lang naman. So in engineering, we have this rule, no? Back in high school, ang tolog natin is eight hours a day suggested. But when you enter engineering, ang tolog niyo dapat is eight hours a week. Yes, na joke lang. Joke lang. Huwag kayo matahot. 
Pero yeah, I can ano, I can attest to what Kuya Jeff said kanina no, that in the first two years of your study, yun yung pinaka ano, ano ba? Pinaka intense kasi andiyan yung foundational subjects, yung mga general education subjects na grabe magpa-requirement, sorry naman. And pero once you go to your seniors na, yes. Parang ano kan eh, uh, puro major subjects na lang yun and you already know what you're studying. Parang okay, this is already centralized. Ako ngayon Um, araw-araw yan, uh, puro ano na lang yung inaran namin, circuits, walang katapos ang voltage, current, resistance, ganun. So, yeah, medyo chill na siya ang senior years nyo and you can already focus on, ano yun, you can already focus on your, ano ba, turning your dreams to rea- uh, reality actually, apart from your studies, medyo luluwag na yan eventually. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's, there are a lot of questions and then another is, ano yung pinaka-challenging task sa senior high? Parang uh, nag-isip kami lahat. Parang ang tagal na eh. <laughs> Parang I can't remember. Okay. Pero uh, um, ako na-challenge ako like specifically with English uh, or Alcom, ganon. Because I don't think na I'm a good English speaker. <laughs> And I really have to um, force my... I'm sorry, Ara. Nasingit pala kita kanina. You're going to talk yata. Uh, pero kasi in college, I really forced myself na to improve my English because like all my classmates, they do speak English straightly. And then when, when, when they talk to me, parang... Uh, sila yung mag adjust eh. Parang they will speak some Tagalog with me. <laughs> Ganyan. So, for me, really, uh, if you're, you think na you're not really that good with English speaking or even reading, uh, you really have to improve it na during your senior high school. I think that's the most challenging stuff. And then, and then, um, basta you enjoy, like, you you love what you do, you all challenging stuff will be easy naman. So, it's really, understanding and enjoying what you do no and although na fixed yung pinapaaral dito sa senior high school you learn how to love them no as kuwari diba there's a question earlier um if you're not sure with your career or what oh parang if you're not sure what strand you're going to take no so kung ako kasi ako nakisawsaw lang ako nag-stem sila lahat sa classroom karamihan nag-stem din ako I, I really don't know what will I take din before so really uh, I just um, parang involve like involve myself lang like just um, absorb what is assigned to us and then just love it then you're you're going to then you're good over it na yeah uh, now that I'm in uni I feel like um, my uh, senior high school struggles are like lesser struggles compared to now. However, the big struggles that I've um, encountered is I think the colliding of this uh, deadline schedule. So sometimes um, teachers are unaware that their deadline schedules are um, coinciding with other um, deadline schedules. So it's kind of um, hard because sometimes you only have like three days to finish the requirements and you have other requirements but and in addition you attend um synchronous classes however as what i mentioned a while ago in the talk chankai teachers are very compassionate and they're really very understanding so um you can ask your class leaders to like message them now sir ma'am can you uh, extend the extend or uh, extend the deadline and they're really like helpful and they're really the ones who are going to adjust but and they're going to ask you is this that that uh, is this deadline okay is this man- manageable and if it's not they're willing to adjust it so that's really a pro from Changkai senior high school since they listen to their students and they give what's best for their students oh uh there's a uh, um similar questions about the arts though because i feel like most This batch want to pursue an art course so uh what if you're interested sa arts but not sure if my high paying jobs in the future but now though they are interested in stem and arts also Ako personally i think na nag iba na yung trend in terms of arts definitely in terms of graphic design in video Um, ed- editing, photography, editing, there is an increase in demand. So 
um, don't be scared and then just study. If you really want to pursue arts, then really deep dive into the field. Check what is the possible options, I mean, possible future. And then meron din ano eh, trend of freelancing. There are artists who um, sell their work in NFTs, yung form of parang parang ano siya, electronic property yep. mo ng artwork uh, sa internet and they make tons and tons of money from that. And yung gumagawa ng parang mga ano lang, 12 years old, mga ganun lang. So you really ano, check your options kasi meron yun. And so, uh, sorry, Al. Please proceed. So, so. <laughs> it's okay. Go lang, go lang. I'll answer after you. Oh, okay. So, in addition to what Auntie Andrea said, so I have a friend who's studying in um Singapore right now, and she has a career talk. And, um, the career talk mentioned to them is choose a career that is not replaceable by technology so is art replaceable by technology no it's not so art even though there are digital arts who makes th these arts for it it's us humans so it's really important like um don't um don't impress on your mindset to the old sayings not parang in art we don't have money or um there's no pay in art because it's really a different world right now it's changing and a lot of people are in need of art Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> a lot of people are in need of art sectors right now. And it's really important to like um value your um self. And if you really want to pursue art, go pursue it. Because if you pursue something that you don't like or something that your heart doesn't really like, um uh it, it will be hard and you will not be very encouraged to study that course. So in my case, um at first I really wanted to take STEM, not because I wanted to, because it's like um um, the, my parents' um, advised me to take STEM for medical course in the future. However, I chose what I wanted. I chose law. I mean, I chose to pursue law. That's why I'm in Polsai. And I'm really happy. Although it's hard, of course, everything has hardships. But in the end, if you choose what you like, you don't blame it on others. You blame it on yourself. And you really get what you, uh, to do what you like. So, ayun lang, choose what you like and do not like um use uh the social construct to destroy your passion. Uh I have a question. Okay, so just to add to ano no, to dun sa mga uh, nasabi nung ni Miss Jasmine and Miss Ara no. So, my insights on art no. Uh, I find it really ironic that people are saying na walang pera sa art. Yes. Kasi ganito yan eh. Uh, art actually serves as our bridge to towards understanding between man and technology. So, tingin nyo ba, if halimbawa, uh, baby, uh, engineer, oh, I'll give you a phone, pero ang ibibigay ko sa inyo is data sheets ng mga components na nasa loob yun. Would you appreciate that phone? What if the iPhone is packaged in such a way na ang binigay sa inyo, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this device contains transistor 7411 and ganyan. Would you buy that phone? No. Binibili nyo phone because there is a uh, uh, art has a huge factor in it. Uh, art allows you to understand. Okay, so oh, sige, let's go beyond. No? Apart from that, it also allows us to retain our humanity, which is most important ngayon. Maraming na burn out online setting, yes. And minsan, it is through art where we are able to channel, perhaps. Ay, sige po, uh, Sir John Angel. Yes. <laughs> Sorry po. No, finish muna before me. Before. Tapos ka na ba? Ah, okay. Uh, just to add up, uh, practically speaking, no, in my point of view, if you want um, a constant paying job, find something na coincides with art. Like, tulad ng sabi ni Andrea kanina, digital marketing. So, marketing. no, Learn how to market well. Um, gagamitan pa rin naman siya, no? Art. And you can side hustle, actually, no? You can side hustle as being a graphic designer. Uh I have friends who are graphic designer and nagpapagawa din ako ng graphic design. Uh, umaabot ako ng 2,000 to 5,000. Actually, umabot na rin ako ng 15,000 only because of graphic design. So, 
hindi talaga nasasabing walang pera sa art. Although, although don't get me wrong, hindi constant. Now, you you have the opportunity to have a constant paying job and at the same time have a side hustle, which is better, diba? Yun lang. Thank you. Uh, there's another question. It's in Chinese, but I'm not really good in Chinese. So, uh, if I don't know how to do it, how do I do it? So, uh, what if thou, uh, they don't know which subject they're good at? I think that's what that what ah uh, that's what is uh, good in Chiang Kai Shek no na during my time kasi yung first sem uh, parang pinapatikim lang sa amin ang EBM ang STEM no pinapatikim lang so uh, sa first sem na yun you have the decision na am i really good at this or can i shift na lang since hindi pa naman ganun ka hectic yung schedule during the first sem no correct me if i'm wrong no ara Okay, so yeah. Uh, kaya you have the the time. So take your time well. no? Take your time to think of what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. Develop on your weaknesses and uh, build on your strengths. Uh, in addition to what Angel said, no, um, I think senior high school in general is really two years for us to decide what we really want to do in college. So uh, for me, uh, since I was in STEM, there were other uh, art subjects too and history, such as the UCSB, yeah, which is, um, my teacher there is Sir Go. So he really somewhat inspired me to continue to pursue law since I really, uh, through his class, I, I realized that I really like contemporary issues or I like to tackle them. So so senior high school, doon mo ma-realize kung saan ka talaga nag excel or kung saan ka talaga, saan mo talaga yung hindi. Kasi, di ba, in junior high school, we have, like, um all subjects are, like, core or wala pa siyang specialized subjects. So, now in senior high school, makikita natin kung um ano yung core subjects na bagay sa atin or which subjects are mas good sa preference natin. So, in my case, it's UCSB. That's why, I, I, ayun, I'm now taking up a little bit of science. Uh, okay. Uh, next question. Kung ang entrance test ba ito test? Like, you're gonna take an entrance exam for that course mismo? I know. It's more of a general aptitude test talaga. Yes, you'll be take kahit, let's say, uh, accounting ka, uh, STEM-related or CLA, liberal arts, you'll be ano, taking all of the subjects pa rin. Parang ano siya, it summarizes your whole high school life in that one day. Ganun. <laughs> Yun yung feeling. Um, although in an online setup, so it's general for it, like the text. Kaso, um, for example, if you're going to med, um, med school or uh, pre-med courses, um, then you're a pharmacy. So in UST, you get accepted for the general um, part. However, after that, you still have to get um, an interview with the pharmacy department. So uh, that's the time you get specific tests or specific interviews. But um, for general, it's uh, for uh, in total, it's really general muna bago the specific ones. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, next question. In your opinion, compared to other senior high school schools, kamusta daw yung workload sa Chiang Kai? Uh, comparing, kasi ano, uh, uh, out of all our friend groups, a lot of people like transferred. So it's only me and another friend stayed here. So grabe, like, you know what I'm experiencing here in college. Yun na yung na-experience sila no senior high school. So parang ano na sila, like, wala na silang time. Um, so this is for the green school and yellow school. So ano sila, like, super hectic na ng schedule nila, senior high school pa lang. In addition, walang compassion sa other schools. Like, eto, real talk na to, wala na talagang compassion. Like, they really don't care about their students. Like, wala silang pakas sa mental health nila. So, if you're in Shanka, you're really, you're really lucky enough kasi the teachers really care about you, the admins really care about you. 
And um, ayon. So I think the workload here is pretty uh, easy. Kaya nga ano, ayun nga nahiwalay din na there is a met all, oh, some all oh, quarterly set up. Oh, it's really helpful. Talaga, like very very helpful because there is a lot of time for me to do my assignments and there are a lot of time for me to do my leisure too. Compared to other classes, uh, my other friends, wala silang ganong time. Uh, there's another question for you, Da Chiara. Uh, ano daw downside ng online classes sa senior high or sa college mismo? Uh, it's really about the campus life or the school life. So, actually, my grade 11, like my first sem of grade 11, nasa Changkai pa ako. And it's really different. Like, you know, puma- uh, one time when COVID was really starting, we joke, uh, we joke around. <laughs> we go to school with our mask on and we play with our friends. It's really like the bonding of friends. is Like, yun yung miss ko sa face-to-face. It's different online. Like, even though you talk to them, hash on, constantly if a parent yung experience now you get to um go to them to the canteen to buy food or to go out so yun lang talaga and i think it's the campus life itself like i i miss the chairs in shanghai i miss the cold aircon and i miss the board i miss seeing people live and um pero when it comes to workload i think it's really manageable na online yun yung ano naman advantage ng online setup Kasi, di ba, pag um, face-to-face, parang we have to do it on the spot. Pero sa uh, uh, online class, we have more time to finish them. And we can depend on um, other uh, third-party um, third party materials, which is Google. So, uh, I really admit it's very helpful for, for me. Like, it's been helpful. Because uh, I think I, I can't function without Google now. Sa totoo lang. So, Ayun, I think that's one upside and one downside of online class. So, uh, next question now for everyone. Tips for being an exchange student yung sa abroad. If ever any one of you experienced it. May, nag, may naka-experience pa sa atin. A- ako kasi, ma- mine is on- online eh. I didn't join my classmates nung nag-exchange sila sa UBC Canada, I think. Yeah. So, pero it really depends kasi kung what's the setup of each school. Kasi there's always a department for international linkages and then you have to apply there. And most of the time naman, um, there's a lot of offers naman like scholarship. So sometimes like there's, there are people na um, they can apply for scholarships and then they get to do exchange program abroad na there's no additional expenses just your just minimal expenses lang um um i think i don't i'm not sure if they check the grades eh. anyone knows ba sa school niyo kasi i'm not not quite sure dito sa UP no pero uh, like mm-mm. in ateneo they check it Mm, yun. I think general requirement naman, they always look at your grades, if you do, do well ba, if you can excel ba, if you enter a different school. Kasi at the end of the day, you carry the name of your school kasi when you do exchange program. You're from, for example, you're from Chiang Kai, you're from uh, uh, Lasalle, you're from Ateneo. Of course, the school don't want you to, 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 to make your name ugly abroad. <laughs> no? And you also carry the name of like your country like you represent the Philippines when you do exchange abroad. So, uh, yeah, you have to ensure that you have good grades. You know, you have, you're knowledgeable about your, uh, what course you are in. Okay, thank you. Uh, tips po din sana kung paano makapasa sa usted. Uh, STEM here or STEM in other schools? For UST daw, the entrance exam, how to pass the? Hi, so ako yung ano, UST representative. <laughs> so yun na nga, although kasi yung entrance exam ko nung time ko is um, normal setup pa, so pumunta ko na yung UST pa, and honestly, among all exams, yes, yung pinaka mabilis nung nag-take ako. 
Pero al- alongside that, syempre, I- I'm aware ngayon na parang meron na sila yung star. So, importante yung grades, yung previous grades yung ngayon. In senior high school, junior high school, they will take into consideration. Pero during my time, yung UST, parang basta alam mo yung basic geometry, basic algebra, marunong kang mag-solve ng tan, mga ganon. Pasok na. Uh, in addition to what Ati Andrea said, no? so ngayon, it's a star, uh, yung test sa UST. So, what they do is accumulate all of your points from the junior high school and the grade school. And then, um, they give you like certain uh, points. So, kunyari, uh, they're given a uh, Post star point is mga 10,000. So, pag 10,000, based uh different pa yan for per strand or per course. So, kunyari, uh, yung akin kasi, I took architecture. <laughs> Ang layo, no? But I, I wanted ano, to, to win in all, ano, all courses. So, architecture kinuha ko and the cutoff is around 10,000 plus. So, fortunately, I got in. And uh, um for other med courses, for example, in pharmacy, uh, it's I think around twelve thousand. So it really depends on what um what course or what strand you're going to take. There are so much questions. So probably about three more questions, and then they're gonna send it to your emails, na lang. Uh, so for everyone, what are useful applications to use during this kind of setup? Uh, ever since when I was in senior high school, pa, I really used Notion. Like before it's hype. Because it's really very, it's very, very important to organize your um, deadlines and organize all of your um all of your to-do things. Because uh, especially me now, like in an online setup, we tend to like forget about the time concept. <laughs> like nakakalimutan natin, uy, ano oras na? So once we have this, all uh, uh, all things to do, we can actually track our progress and track our um kung nagagawa ba natin yung mga tasks na dapat natin gawin. So, please download Notion. If you're not familiar with Notion, you can download Google Calendar kasi it gives you the task then. So, it will notify you na parang um, please do your assignment like this or ganyan. So, that's Google Classroom and Notion. Oh, I, I also have Notion. I'm using it actually sometimes. Uh, there is another question. Uh, was there ever a time though that you thought of taking up an art course? And if yes, what advice could you give? Uh, for senior high school, I was supposed to transfer to USD and I got art I got in, in arts and design. Uh, however, I didn't pursue it uh, because of um because of like um the social standards. I was trapped to uh, what my parents wanted. However, it's different now. But, uh, you know, sometimes I still think of it now. What if, what if I transferred? Would I be uh, so much happier or would I have a different path? So I think it's really important to choose what you like and to choose to pursue what you really um, want to do. Because in the end, it's you who's going to study and it's you who's going to like, um, um experience all these hardships so do not um do not confine yourself in the social constructs and i'm not saying that do not listen to your parents but um in some way you have to fight for what you want because um it's your life it's your future so always remember that um i think last question now because we have to wrap up already. So to everyone who has questions, I'm sorry we we can't um entertain them anymore right now. But you can email it to the speakers if you have any questions. So uh last question. Uh is interaction with other students a must when you enter a different school or can you generally do things by yourself? Oh, okay, so Kathleen, uh, one piece of advice I can give to everyone 
it. Uh, by the time you reach college, it's not just about you. Kasi uh, ang plano mo dapat sa college should be building your path towards your career. So it would really help if you're able to establish connections. Kasi ano yan eh. Uh, hindi ka sure kung ano yung, uh, paano ba? Hindi sa hindi sure. Parang sila at sila rin yung ma- ma- may kita mo sa industry. So uh, who knows? They might be uh they might be able to establish a uh, establish a huge company and the current oh uh, instant partnership agad yan. and then um also yeah i place he- uh, heavy emphasis on connections yeah it's really important uh, yes. can I, uh, uh, so um, it's really important to um, open your connections or widen your connections in college because um, you really need their help. Because college na to, eh, it's not <laughs> ano na siya, real game. So pag, ano ka, you don't ask for the help of others, mas mahihirapan ka. And sometimes, you know, like cooperation is a must. Cooperation is a must. Like kunyari, there are papers or there are school tasks. It's important to ask help from them kasi uh, mahirap pag mag-isa lang. Like, the more ideas you get, the more the better the paper you're going to produce or the better the outcome you're going to have. So, it's really important to have friends with others. And if you're introvert, I suggest you, like, ano talaga, you take the first step kahit na you're introvert. Like, you message one of your friends, ay, one of your classmates na you think na magiging ka-close mo. Kasi kahit my one friend ka lang. Important na yun sa college. Only one friend is enough to give, keep you going in college. Mm, okay. I think that would be helpful for me as well. Uh, so, I think uh, we have to wrap up na. So, there are about 10 questions, I think, left. But there's no time now, so thank you everyone for answering the questions. They really helped. A lot. They really helped a lot. Uh, Rian, can you hear me? Uh, yes. This is Mr. Rian. Very there, Rian. Uh, hello. Hello, Rian. Can you hear me? This is Mr. Rian. Very there. Can Can I just make a shout out to all our speakers for today? For, for all of them, like from Christian to Andrea, John, Arabella, Jeff, and Eisner, all right? Like some of them have been my students and like they're all products of Shanghai Shek College and like we're giving the shout out on behalf of the entire Shanghai Shek College community. Also the junior high school faculty particularly, we're all so proud and happy where you are where you are right now and like it's the beauty of you guys being empowered as students and you empowering our students as well your fellow Cicatian students and again we'd like to give you our, our biggest thanks our biggest virtual warm hugs thank you thank you it's just a shout out for everyone thank you back to you Rian. i just can't help myself thank you uh, there is a, a, an answer from Ahe Eisner, who is currently studying in Canada, I think, UBC. So, uh, if you want to apply overseas, it's not all academic, but it is important. Being well-rounded is also important, like joining clubs and other activities. So, um... Before this event comes to a close, it was with great pleasure that I, I introduced to you the supervisor of the senior high school division, the esteemed Mr. Sherwin Pedernal. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Senior high school consists of two years of specialized upper secondary education. That's grades 11 and 12. Our senior high school offers different strands, which are intended for you to determine which path fits your strength, passions, and life purpose. We have STEM IT, STEM, ABM, UMS, and Arts and Design. Upon enrollment, you'll be required to pick among these different strands. Choosing the right strand is important because being in the right strand will help motivate 
and prepare you for your future career. It will expand your knowledge and skills while exposing you to your chosen field of study in college. Furthermore, as they are designed and specialized to match your interest, studying will now become more enjoyable. To our former senior high school students, Christian, Arabella, Jefferson, Andrea, Jan Angel, and Eisner, we appreciate and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be the guest speakers for this event. Your presence and kind words are indeed a testament to our commitment and mission in senior high school to cultivate a culture of excellence, developing socially, emotionally, and intellectually well-rounded and well-adjusted individuals. And to everyone who organized and those who have attended today's event, we thank you. To our incoming senior high students, we are excited to help shape your future. We look forward for it to having you. Thank you, be safe, and God bless you all. Thank you so much, Mr. Pedernal. And just like all good things, this event has come to its end. This, this event will not be possible without the hard work and dedication of Sian Wai Lin Sing, head of the Senior High School Discipline Office, Sian Lin Chu, head of the Junior High School Discipline Office, Mr. Judalian Yap, the Vice President of External Affairs of Chiang Kai Shak College, the Guidance and Counseling Office, headed by Ms. Cynthia Sidro, our sincerest gratitude and appreciation. A million thanks to all of you for spending your your mornings with us so for your questions i will be compiling them and i could send the answers of the speakers to those who ask probably within the day so this has been rian bernice ang your master of ceremonies wishing you a happy friday and a happy weekend